Hey there, welcome to the Queen Mab's Journal, where you can learn all about the arts and humanities without all the pretentiousness that too often comes with it. Today, we're going to kick back and drive around Vice City while we discuss negative capability. What the heck is negative capability? When I first heard the term in college, I thought it was negative culpability, which is something totally different. It is directly associated with arts, and to sum it up, it's a feeling of being comfortable with uncertainty. So look at it like this. We often go to the cinema or the bookstore, and we ask ourselves, what kind of views did such and such director or such and such author have? We all do this. A film by Clint Eastwood is going to be more conservative, and it's going to have values about personal responsibility. A film by Jordan Peele will likely be about racism. We know this. I think we all have that one friend who we can't really see a movie with because we know that they'll always have a theory about how the film is socialist or conservative or whatever. Shoot, I might be that friend. Anyway, negative capability is the point of view that the artist making the content really has no idea what the answers are. They live in a world of uncertainty, and they're even proud of it. Before I dive into some famous modern examples, I do want to give credit to the man who first coined the phrase, the goat, John Keats. We will probably cover his amazing poetry later, but he coined this phrase after noticing it in Shakespeare. Now, if you're listening to this and you took a course on Shakespeare back in college, you know exactly what I mean. If not, it's okay. It's okay. Even if you know nothing about Shakespeare, what I'm about to tell you is really the first thing you need to know about the guy. Nobody agrees on what he meant. Was he criticizing the Catholic Church? Was he a critic of the Protestant Reformation? Was he gay? Was he bisexual? Did he approve of the monarchy? Did he dip his Wendy's fries in his Frosty? We literally have no idea. We have more certainty in why we only hit red traffic lights when we're running late for work. And yet, we have mountains of scholarship debating these questions. What's so genius about Shakespeare is he cemented himself as a playwright who is still relevant today. And this is no doubt because the state of uncertainty, this negative capability that keeps Shakespeare interesting. So enough commentary on Shakespeare and people that are dead, dead for hundreds of years. Let's talk about a newer work, 2001 Space Odyssey. Okay, I know it's not exactly new, but at least you know at least a couple people who were around when it came out. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but the last 20 minutes leading up to its ending is basically an acid trip. There are still Reddit and 4chan threads dedicated to interpreting what Stanley Kubrick's intentions were with the end of 2001. But according to him, the finale is more of an experience than a meaning. If you felt something stirring within you, well, that is the meaning. Now, in the world of anime, in the big sprawling universe of anime, uh, there is a wonderful franchise, the most awesome franchise ever, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Fans of Neon Genesis were treated to multiple endings of the show. Fans were so disgruntled by the original show's ending that they were forced to make a whole nother movie. No doubt, the only reason this had to be done was to keep viewers uncertain, to remain in that uncertainty. So, why does all this matter? Or to put it in Seinfeldian terms, what's the deal with negative capability? Well, in a world where questions are beginning to outnumber answers and brokenness is beginning to outweigh healing, I think it's okay to be uncertain about things. Some of us wonder, why are we alone? Or why did our best friend leave us? Sometimes we beat ourselves up over not having the answer to every single question. I'm not saying we shouldn't reflect. After all, there's a reason we still analyze Romeo and Juliet. But sometimes we need to just be unsure. And that's okay. In the words of John Keats himself, 
philosophy, clips, and angels' wings. But I want to know what you think. Do you know any other movies or shows that use negative capability? If so, write it down below, you smarty pants. And please, please, if you enjoy stuff like this, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button so I can continue making content just like this to make your day. And until next time, my name is Ian, and this was the Queen Mab's Journal. Thank you.